Hello guys, here with a look at Office Suite 6 from Mobi Systems. Uh, with this app you can control Word, Excel, um, PDF files, and PowerPoint files on any Android devices or tablet. Um, let's go ahead and here and show you guys, um, this works landscape and portrait mode. You can see right there. Um, here when you open it up you're gonna have recent files, my documents, internal storage, remote files. Um, here in the bottom you can go ahead and search for a document in your tablet. Um, here you go to settings. Uh, you can control a couple things like printer settings and all that. If you click here printer settings all that it lets you is um, put a, a, a Gmail account so that way you could um, use cloud print from there that's how you print from this app which is good if you use it um, here you can go ahead and update anytime check for an update for this app okay so when you want to create a document all you have to do is press here new um, you're gonna have the option to word document Excel workbook or PowerPoint presentation uh, let's go ahead to word document um, here when you first launch a new document you're gonna see the toolbar right here um, the great thing about that toolbar is that you're gonna get like the most recent the most useful um, tools that you normally use on, on any document um, over here you're gonna be able to access um, the font paragraph format formatting sim symbols bullets numbering increasing dent decreasing dent and remove list over here if you click the settings um, you're gonna have more options like file edit view insert from here you can go ahead and insert a picture table hyperlink bookmark break comment footnote or endnote so let's go ahead here and try to write something so you guys can see how it works um, here from here you could easily control the indent it's very nice look at that you can see that it changes uh, let's say for example if I want to write here and I want to make a font very big like let's say 26 here you can go ahead and change also the font type you go Calibri Courier Texas New Roman okay so let's go ahead and choose that and let's go here you could go ahead and choose bold and you could go ahead and choose underline and let's go ahead and write a title here nice so here you go ahead down at any time you could go ahead and insert an image if you want it's very very easy I like it because it's right here and you could use your thumb just like that and here you could choose where you want your image from um, so here let's say I want to take my image from let's go here pick an image you could choose any image you want let's go ahead and choose this image okay so right now like you can see here I put an image from my gallery um, you could tap on it and from here you could go ahead and control the size of the image Look at that. let's say I want to put the image like that and that's it um, let's go here and go to the bottom let's say I want to go back here for the indent over here uh, say I want to take that out and I want to change the font size to a little bit normal size let's put number 10 there and times new Roman wow and right here I could go ahead and write normally Um, you can also use um, numbering or with bullet points which is very nice numbering and you could keep on going like that very easy and at, at any time you could take it off and it will automatically go off um, 
here let's say you want to add or uh, insert a table you can also insert a table and here you got a very neat uh, cool tool where you could control the columns the rows and everything let's say I want to make a three column with uh, four rows you can choose you select it and right here now you got the column right here you can go ahead and, and space it out if you want inside any block you could choose the indent and start running writing so let's say here are the other cool features that you could um, zoom out on the document that looks very nice you can see the whole document you could go ahead and, and choose portrait and see how it looks in portrait mode like that that looks very cool look at that that looks very very nice you can go ahead and put it very small and here you can see the percentage as you're up as you're zooming you can see the percentage of zooming which is very nice to see your document before you finish it that's a, that's a very cool feature uh, with like that so it's this app is very good and it, at least it has all the most important and most useful um, uh, tools that you need to make a, a document. It's very easy to use and if you have a keyboard with one of these stands you can go ahead and and prop it like put it like that and start tapping with a Bluetooth keyboard which is way better. That's my best option to write on these tablets but this is very nice and here let's go ahead let's say you want to save it when you choose to save it you can choose a word document word 97 to 2003 a rich plain format or plain text let's go here choose document and right here you can go ahead and rename it So after you name your document, you could go ahead here and choose where you want to save it because right now you won't be able to save it unless you select the folder or destination. From here, I could go ahead and search uh, internal and choose to save it um, anywhere, any folder you want to save it to. Let's go ahead and choose documents. And right there, I could go ahead and save and it will automatically save. Like you see right there, it saved the document. So let's get out of here. And another great feature of this app is that you could um, um, store files remotely to uh, one of these um, services, cloud services. Like for example, here you could choose um, Drive, Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, SugarSync, and SkyDrive. That's a very good options. Those are very, very, very good options. So that's very cool. Or you could go ahead and use your Google Docs, which is very nice. Um, this app is very good um, it's very expensive just like every other document app like documents to go in quick office pro but it is a very very useful um, app and it works perfectly right. if you tell me um, which one should you buy or quick office pro or this one quick office pro is very very nice and is because and visually is a lot more prettier than this one and it has a lot lot lots of app options too as well but if you want to see a video of quick office and document to go go to my channel there's another video where i com i'm comparing documents to go to quick office pro that's a very good video and that way you can see those two apps working and you can compare it to this one and that way you can decide which one is right for you so guys this is all i want to show right now this is from office suite suite 6 from moby systems if you have any questions go ahead and feel free to ask uh, until next time guys